Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Bank Holiday Monday. Um, happy April Fool's Day as well. I look like the fool in the mask, but there you go. Um, no, sorry, it was a poor attempt at humour. Um, yeah, so basically, um, first of all, before I carry on with this episode, I just want to say thank you to everyone um, for their support in my recent video I uploaded for a game that isn't Football Manager, but it's like a wrestling version of Football Manager called TEW 2020. Um, I took over, I recreated a promotion I used to go to see the shows live called Fight Club Pro. They used to be based in Wolverhampton. And I used to go to their shows quite regularly back in the day when they had Tyler Bate and uh, Pete Dunne and all them there. And um, I decided to recreate that for TW 2020. And I basically start as a local promotion with no money, with barely any money and no reputation. I made it as hard as possible. So to put that in football manager terms, it's basically the equivalent of taking uh, a team from the the Verona Rama Conference, I suppose, to the Premiership. My aim is to try and make them the best wrestling promotion in the world. It won't be easy, but hopefully in time I can get it done. Um, so I started the first episode of that yesterday, and I will be posting an episode of it today as well. But I just want to say thank you to the people who watched that. Uh, if any of you have been, if any of you watch my football manager stuff and like my personality, feel free to watch the TW stuff as well. If it's not for you, that's fine. If you're intrigued about TW 2020 um, and you're a wrestling fan, then give it a watch as well. It might make you, it might um, interest you in buying it. But yeah, so anyway, enough about that. Um, but also, um, just before I carry on with the episode. Um, thank you to the people in the TW Facebook groups. They've been a massive uh, support for me so far in the new the new content I'm doing for TW 2020, especially in the group chat as well. You know who you are, so thank you. You're a good bunch of good bunch of guys, and I really appreciate your help. And um, yeah, right, that's that. So let's crack on with this episode now. Uh, where you left us off last, um, before we go on about the transfer business. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> I thought for some reason we we're halfway through a season. We're not um, right. So basically, we were still in pre-season, and we had um, a ridiculous offer. A ridiculous. I can't get my words out today. A ridiculous offer for Dewhurst that we just couldn't turn down. Seventeen million increases to twenty million. We've got thirty percent profit on the next deal. So if if he obviously goes on to do well in the next couple of years and gets a big transfer to a big club. We will make even more money on him. So it's a no-brainer. Now, we are doing very well financially at the moment, 108 million, but um, projection-wise, we're not looking to do well. But I think that'll just get taken off once we... I think that's just us. That's just them panicking. But we should be all right financially. We usually do all right. But yeah, so that's that really. Um, transfers in, potentially. I've got... I'm going to try and bring in Sam Tickle. I've only just made an offer for him as I loaded up this save because I realise I've only got one goalkeeper. Now, I've gone for this guy here as well, Rocco Rios Novo. Um, but apparently the scouts don't rate him very well, actually. Let's have a look. He's got good potential, though, so we'd probably be a good backup in the long run. But, yeah, we probably could do with getting maybe another goalkeeper in afterwards. I mean, he's all right. He, he'll do for now. Um, Rojas, but yeah, Sam Tickle will probably come in as first team goalkeeper. He'll be Rojas will be back up, and then emergency backup will be that Rico. So yeah, that's that really. Uh, oh, we have what we have played one game. What am I about? We bloody played in the uh, Europa Conference, didn't we? So yeah, so last episode we played uh, Balakani, and we won four 0 in the first leg. Um, new sign in Tezgel scored. Lowry scored, Leon King scored, and new signing Casimir scored. So yeah, so transfer wise, let's just have a quick look. Just because I haven't recorded any episodes in this in about in about seven days or something, so I'm a bit rusty. Um, he was our best signing, David Meller. I think he's going to be a great player for us. Um, Rojas, as we've already ex talked about, Thiago Maris, um playing the wings as a backup. Harrison Ashby, uh, decent backup as right back for your Yano. 
give him decent competition there. And then we, we did sign another goalkeeper. I apologise. I think he's injured. That's why he didn't come up. But Higgins. So we've got a couple of goalkeepers. And then transfers out. Obviously, Dewhurst being the biggest one so far. Um, we've made a few little uh, sales here and there. Um, Ross Stewart being the main one. So, yeah, let's have a look at how Gary Rui did in the end uh, that season with Juventus because he played most games. So he's 20 years old now. He's rated at 66 to 130 million. I am absolutely wounded we didn't get a profit on the next transfer. They only signed him for 14 million. They're going to make an absolute fortune on him if they sell him. He played for, he played more than 14 games. I don't know why it said 14 games because he played more than that. But yeah, he did well there. So yeah, and like I said, he will be sorely missed. Um, but yeah, we've got to move on now. On to the future. And the future is Sam Tickle in goal, hopefully. Oberfami is on the move, apparently. Let's offer him out again then. Has he got anybody after him? Oh, yes, he has. He's got offers already, so we'll leave that. Got a new coach in. Uh, so, he's probably... No, he's not as good as him. Is he better than Simon Ferry? Uh, pfft. Not really. Better than him? No. We've got two fitness coaches though. One's pretty good. He's pretty good as well actually. I don't think we've got room for him. Fortunately. I just don't think he's as, as better than what we've got. But uh, uh, Let's have a think. I know we don't technically... We don't need to revert reserve assistant manager so we'll do that hopefully it'll improve the training and reserves so after I play this game offline I'm going to start a new training schedule that I watched in an RDF tactics video um, and it's doing quite well for actually no I won't because it's class is cheating in it so I won't do that just ignore what I'm just about to say there'll be no training schedules don't worry uh Hopefully we can just destroy that balcony again. Or Balakani, whatever they're called. I think they're called Balakani. And then hopefully we'll get through to the next round. I know, unfortunately, we've got Barcelona in the next round if we do beat them. So not we can't get too excited. Uh, Francis is not happy. Right, I'm just going to holiday for five days until the, um, four days, sorry, until the next match. Because it's just going to be quicker than me just waffling through it. Hope you all had a nice Easter weekend, though. I had a nice chilled out one. Um, we're slowly walking Baxter more and more, and he's he's getting a little bit excited. He gets a little bit excited now he goes for a walk. He likes to have a sniff around. He still hasn't done his business on the outside, which is annoying. Um, but that will come with time. So uh, my girlfriend has very nicely decided to take him out this uh, this morning, this afternoon, sorry, as I'm recording this video. So I can record this video in peace and quiet because he's a little annoying little bugger at times and he wants my attention all the time. And he's also one to chew on wires. So it's pretty difficult to concentrate on doing this as well as keeping an eye on him to make sure he doesn't break anything. But people who have got dogs will know. All too well, what it's like. Right, there we go. We've managed to holiday through, so let's go through. McKirk's out the door. Um, Skelon is out the door. Femi's out the door. We brought in Castellino. Castellino? No, we haven't. One moment. He's gone. Sorry, Castellino has gone. I didn't even know we had him. That's how important he is. Uh, Lennon Miller. Uh, no, I want to profit on his next transfer if he's going to go anywhere. Right, Poku's gone. Cola's gone. Sam Tickle's in. That's good. First team goalkeeper uh, sorted. Good replacement for Dewhurst. Victor Bobson's not happy, but we just ignore it. I think I might get rid of Bobson, actually. 
it wasn't um, wasn't that impressive when uh, I signed him in the first place. To be honest, he's okay, but not good enough. I don't think. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to. Yeah, I'll we'll get rid of Boulder as well if we can. Uh, I'm just trying to get gradually just get a better, a smaller squad with better players, and then having the young players coming through as backup. So they will get game time instead of just buying players all the time. Mongello's not happy as well. Any unhappy player we've got here, we're just going to get rid of from now on, I think. Even if we don't make much money on them. Right, same sorted. Going for Liam Morrison, Scottish player, Scottish uh, not yet to be played, for, yet to be capped for Scotland. So there's potential there for a Scotland international. Right, Novo Novo has come in. As I said, only two and a half, so he we emergency backup. He'll probably get sold in six months' time anyway. Uh, Muller Getters not happy, but I'm not I'm not getting rid of him because I really rate him. Uh, I really rate you, so you're staying as well. There must be some sort of bug in the squad registration thing when you go on holiday. Oh god, so many unhappy players now. Oh my god. I hate this squad hierarchy thing image. Oh, Shaquille's rejected the move. Uh, do we go for him? I think he's the type of striker that we could, that will take us to the next level, I think. I don't think it'll come to us, though. I think he rejected us straight away last time, so I'm not going to get my hopes up about that. Uh, he'd be a good striker, though. A lot cheaper than Van Persie. And more to do with our transfer policy, South American players. Then again, we have got um, Tesco. Oh God, another bloody meeting. Oh, and another one. I bet the morale's going to be absolutely down the toilet now. No, he didn't want to come to us. Hopefully we can sign this player though. I know most people on here probably actually pay attention to contract negotiations. I don't really care. As long as they come to us, I'm not bothered. Sometimes that bites me in the bump. There you go, he's probably going to go to Blackburn. You never know, we might be able to loan him in from Blackburn. We'll see. Kai Osborne. We'll keep an eye on him. Richie Moran, another unhappy player that we don't want to lose. All right, I've had a few offers for Longello, not very good, but we'll just accept them. All right, here we go. So we've got the we're winning four 0 in the first leg. We're at the second leg now. Rojas in goal. Oyano is right back. Now Rocky. And King in centre defence. Bruce is left back. Petrovic and Johnson in midfield. Moraes on the right. Barr in the middle. Ruiz on the left. And Hoyland up front. So let's see how we get on. Me and my uh, girlfriend watched the Bob Marley film last night. It was pretty good, to be honest. I didn't know he got... Sh um, I didn't even remember him. I don't remember him ever getting shot, but he got shot. Um, and then he got cancer. He died at 36 years old. I didn't know much about him, to be honest. So it was quite interesting. Um, very influential on the, in the music world. Um, one of the greatest of all time, probably. Will go down. Such a shame he died at 36 years old, but a lot of these great musicians do die young. Jimi Hendrix, Elvis. I think Elvis was quite younger there. But they all died younger than they should have anyway. Sooner than they should have. Oh, great ball there. Look at that. That was a lovely goal. 
first goal of the season for Hoyland. But yeah, it's a it's a decent film. It's only an hour and a half or something like that, so it's it's not massively long. Trying to watch more films, to be honest, because um, I feel like I'm getting a bit bored of watching TV shows all the time. So I'm just, me and my girlfriend, we just like to watch a, a film on a film or two on the weekend. Hoyland with his second goal of the game. On on track to get his hat trick. Morace again. Who's a, oh? I was going to say was playing well. There's no either. Oh, good interception there by Petrovic. Great vision by him to figure that out. Oh, Hoyland nearly got his hat trick there in the twenty-five minutes. Probably one of the quickest hat tricks ever. That would have been. No. Uh, oh. Petrovic Ruiz. Oh, massively over there. All right, I'm just gonna have a look at this player here. He's got two goals for. Her. The, the gardens, so we'll just give him a little scout report, see what comes up with that. We can kind of relax in a way now. We're winning, uh, we've got a 6 0 aggregate, at the, uh, we've got a 6 goal lead on them at the moment because we scored, we won 4 0 last game, we went 2 0 this one. So we can relax a bit now, I think. Take a few players off when they get tired. Hopefully Hoyland will get his hat trick. Oh, nearly got it. He scored a hat trick again. Then I don't think he scored many hat tricks for us. Actually, to be honest, I don't think he scored any. He gets a lot. He does get. He does when he does score. He does tend to score two goals a game, but he, no, he very rarely scores a hat trick, if ever. Right, nicely done there by Bruce. King over the top, beautiful. Oyanu, I might keep King actually. He's been all right in the the first two games of the season we play. Granted, we're only we're we're playing a team that we're probably way better than. Um, so we'll we'll see how it goes in the next couple of games. Petrovic the bar. Johnson saved by the goalie. Nice easy shot for him to save. Throwing to us, Oyanu. We basically haven't had another shot yet. Oh, come on, Hoyland. He's determined to get his hat trick, isn't he? Right, Ruiz. Oh, that was unfortunate. Right. Can we get this ball back, or is it going to be the first shot on first shot of the game for Balakani? That was a beautiful ball by by them to Zigo. Fair play, first shot in the game they score. Maybe we're a bit too relaxed here. Bar needs to come off. Who do we put on for Bar? There we go. We put Chucky on. I can't believe we signed um, Chucky from Chelsea. He's a he's a hell of a good player. Petrovic there with his first goal of the season. Great shot by him. All right, free kick Petrovic over the top. Headed out by them. Back to Petrovic who gives it to Oyanu. Oyanu gets tackled. Petrovic cleans it up. Oh, Mellon nearly scored in his debut then. Ruiz with the corner. Straight in the goalkeeper's hands, disappointingly. Right, King, after I bigged you up earlier, you've not been playing well, so uh, I think we've only got our oh, put in there. We'll put Charlie Bannon on. Right, Petrovic, you're tired. Oh, we can't take any more players off, so. One, two, three. Yeah, I think you only have three substitutions in the Europa Conference games. Bruce. Oyanu. Oh, he gets his hat trick. I was just waiting for VAR to intervene there. 
Well done, Hoyland. There you go, we'll give him some praise. Well done, buddy. Hopefully that's the first hat-trick of many for us in this season, because he's not been doing... He didn't score many goals the last two seasons, so I'm hoping he'll now finally get it together and go on a goal-scoring run, knowing our look, and then we'll have to sell him. Oh, there you go, this is fourth goal of the season already. If we look at the... Uh, when it lets me... Right, if we just click on that. Oh, come on, there we go. I think he got, he got four... <laughs> Two seasons ago, he got four goals the whole season. He's already scored four goals this season in the one game, and he only got seven goals last season. So let's see if he can break his goal-scoring record for last season in the first two games. Ruiz, Oyane, Johnson, Oyane. Ruiz now looks up, shoots, uh, deflected out for a corner. Let's see if Hoyland can get a double hat-trick. He only needs two more goals. Right, Ayane now. Passes it across to Johnson. Back to Ayane. 1-2. Bruce. Oh, didn't lead to anything in the end. Right. We've got a free kick. Petrovic lines it up. What's he going to do? Is he going to shoot or is he going to pass it? I think he's going to pass it because he's quite close to the ball there. I know he's running up so you never know now. Oh, he's going for a shot. Oh, what a goal. What a free kick by Petrovic. Petrovic might get a hat-trick. You never know. Fans' favourite here, Petrovic. Great performance there, lads. Well done. Yep, there you go. Just to confirm our unfortunate situation we're in. Uh, we're playing Barcelona on the 20th of July, which is in seven days' time on the game. Let's just have a look. I mean, look at the bloody players they've got. Yano, Koundé, Pedri, Ayurujo, Balde, Ferran Torres, Gavi, Ru Vito Roque, Yeheo Neves from bloody... So they bought him from uh, Benfica. Anzu Fati, Darvic, Ivanovas, Eric Garcia is still there. Christensen's still there. So you can understand the situation we're in. Um, it'll be one hell of a upset if we do but uh, I'll be back in a minute with the Barcelona game just bear with us right and we're back just holidayed for the week so we'll see what comes up on here uh, not happy with the way I'm treating him so I've got a lot of unhappy players at the moment let them in we'll send you out on loan uh, we had some rubbish offers for Bowler. But we'll just accept it anyway. Uh, accept that from Bobson. Yep, it's a better offer for Bobson. I'm happy with that. Uh, Richie Moran's doing well in training. Good lad. Uh, he's a good goalkeeper. Be a good backup, I think. Didn't cost us anything. Had some offer solution. Ross Miller will send you out on loan. Uh, we've signed this player on loan. Defender, central defender, looks pretty good actually to be honest, and South American, which is what we like. There you go, made a few players happy as well. Signed former, no we haven't. Uh, we've lost our scouts, Rangers. Well, he's not happy, so we'll just get rid of you, make some money on you. I don't think he caught, actually I don't know actually. We might lose money on him actually. Uh, so sign up for five point five. When we get our money back, I'll be happy with that. Sam tickles out for a few days. So if we somehow 
beat Barcelona, which ain't going to happen. We've got this team, which I'm not going to even attempt to pronounce. And then Apollon Limassol. Uh, top young player rods. Have we got any on us? Oh, we've got Richie Moran. But he's not probably going to win it. So we'll see. Uh, he's been on my shortlist for ages and he's pretty good. So I'm going to sign him. Right, send you out on loan. Costello. Oh yeah, I forgot we signed uh, Alba. Hopefully he'll give good competition for Hoyland. I think he's better than Ross Stewart, but we'll see. Uh, so we've had an offer for Leon King. He didn't do well in the last game, so yeah, we will get rid of him. Uh, should we get rid of Lowry as well? No, Lowry's been alright, actually. We'll keep him for a bit longer. He's very good by the looks of it. Uh, we'll leave him for now, though. I feel like it's cheating if we keep signing all these young players. Nikas Odegaard. I don't think we need to strengthen in them positions particularly. I think I'll just leave the DOF to do it, to be honest. Right, hopefully we can sign him and he can uh, play on the wings when that play alongside. On the, I'm sorry, play on the wings either side or up front. Get my words muddled up sometimes. I have a brain fart. I do apologise. Right, we've had a rubbish offer for Francis. We are not accepting that. I don't care if he's unhappy. We're not selling you for pittance. Right, that's the player that I scouted after uh, during that last game. So I didn't actually, I don't like that. Oh, it doesn't matter. It is what it is. Right. No. Right. Big game now. Big, big game ahead of us. Let me just... No, I won't save it. Um, right. So we've got Rojas in goal. Ayano is right back. I think it's the basic of the set. Oh, God. We've got King in defence. Surely we've got a better bloody defender than him. Is he only picked because he's experienced in that? Um, we'll just leave it for now. So he's going to be the... We've got a Barcelona team, and we've got bloody Leon King in defence, who's not very good. I think this is pretty much the same team we had. Yeah, it is exactly the same team we had in the last game. So we'll just crack on now. Let's have a look at the Barcelona lineup. I forgot to click on it before. I mean, they've got Balde, they've got Flipping Garcia... Neves, Gavi, Dion, Torres, Fatty. The rest in a few players though, so you never know. Or well, they got a few injuries, I don't know. Right. Uh, right, let's see how we get on. As long as we don't get humiliated, I'll be alright. Because I don't expect us to win. I don't expect us to draw. As long as we don't get thrashed like 8 9 nil, I'll be alright. I know our limitations. And I don't want to get a player sent off in the first half either, because that just makes it just, just not worth it, doesn't it? Because you just know you're going to lose them. At least give us some hope, even if it's misguided hope. Look how beautiful they're passing this around. Ugh, makes you sick. Oh, they've already hit the post and offside. That's all right. We've got uh, XG of zero zero one, so that tells you everything you need to know. Right, King in possession. Do not mess it up, Petrovic. Right, passing it around from defence. 
not really able to get further than that. But there, there you go. Nicely, inter nicely done there, Ayano. Made up for your mistake. I think this is going to be a mistake ready to happen, this by the looks of it. Oh, see, Petrovic, what are you doing to us? They're just a trembling wreck here. They're just waiting to be picked off. Oh, well, at least we waited till the 41st minute before they scored. All right, let's try demanding a bit more, see if that'll do anything. Free kick to Barcelona. Over the top ball. Ferran Torres just taking us apart. There we go. Gavi scores. <sighs> Why did we have to have Barcelona in the next round? We could have had any team. We had to have Barcelona. All right. Ruiz, you can come off. Put Casimir on there. Take you off. Put you on. Take you off. Oh, no, we'll leave it just in case we get any injuries. Right, let's try encouraging them. That's all we can do, really, is just encourage them just to try their best. We know we're not going to win. At least it'll be a good day out for the away fans that have gone to the new camp to watch us. So at least there's that. Oh, what a ball. Go on, Hoyland. Oh! Hoyland doing well there. We surprised them there. Can we get another one? Probably not. But you never know. Well, we can take some players off. I thought we could only have three players come off. Uh, we can't take you off because we ain't got no one to put you on for, but we can take Marais off. Should we put on Mela? And then take off a Yanu. Put on Harrison. Right, playing out from defence. Only bad things can happen from that, like that. Oh, well, at least we got a consolation goal. At least we give the fans some excitement. 3-1. Oh, maybe, do, maybe the VAR will come to our rescue. Oh, well, there you go. Give us some slight hope for the home leg. Oh, we've got a throw in. Oh, they've got a throw in. Sorry, I saw it, saw it from the wrong angle. Good defensive play there. And Barcelona just have like a defensive error so we can get a goal. Oh, good, good goal there by Baldy. Good shot. Oh, well. Like I said, at least we got a consolation goal. Let's try and encourage them. You never know, we might be able to get another one out of nowhere. We are the underdogs, we're not expected to win. Uh, no, it's not happening. Not happening at all. Oh well, at least Hoyland got to score at the new Camp. Not many players can say that. Right. Is there another leg? Have we got... Oh yeah, we have got two legs. So... Uh, I'll be back in a minute for the second game in the the second leg of that game. Uh, ugh, I can't get my words up. The second leg, basically. Right, I'm back in a minute. Right, and we're back. Uh, we're just going to skip forward here through the news ones. Uh, we had a we negotiated an offer for Francis, and we managed to get a seven point five offer, which is two million more than what we paid for him. So at least we've made profit on the deal. Uh, we've uh, Ross Miller's gone out on loan. Uh, Lujan's gone. He's gone to Argentinos uh, for 1.3 million. Uh, just had a few scouts. And then uh, DOF has gone for Celtic player called Paul Bills, uh, Beeston. Defender. Uh, played right back as well. We've had a few rubbish loan offers for Francis, so we'll reject them. Uh, Ollie McDonald, 
highly rated youngster, so we're not going to accept that offer. Uh, do we go for... No, we won't. We'll leave Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. We've signed David Valencia, very highly rated Colombian player. And uh, Josh Boulder's rejected the move, so we'll just offer him out again. Uh, we'll, we'll offer to pay some of his wage, hopefully that'll help. Playing Partick Thistle in the League Cup draw. That's not Bobson's gone. He went for six point two five million, which is pretty good as we only signed him on a. I think we didn't cost. Yeah, it didn't cost him a free transfer. So he only played ten games last season. He played well when he needed to, but yeah, Leon King's finally out. So that's good. We definitely need a few more centre backs. So. Right, we've managed to sign Stakovic. Stake off, sorry, stake off. That's him through the door. Uh, Ali Sully is not happy, so we'll look to get rid of him. Right, nearly finished. All right, got Barcelona next game. We're losing. We were losing three one in the away leg. You never know. Miracles might happen. We might end up uh, getting a win against them. But highly doubt it. But we'll see. Had a few loan offers for Salia, but they're not very good. So we're just gonna check them. Um, right, so we've got Tickle making his debut in goal. Uh, Ayano, now Rocky, we've got this player here, I don't don't remember. Um, Bruce is left back, Johnson and Petrovic in midfield, Marais and Barr, Ruiz, and then Hoyland up front. So let's see how we go. Hopefully, this won't be too humiliating, but like I said, we are playing Barcelona. Uh, let's just have a quick look at their. Lineup. So um, Kunde is in there. Garcia, uh, Gavi, Neves, Pedri's there, Torres is there, and Yamal's there. So, and they got Fatty on the bench who scored against us last time. We got Farlan Mendy. How long has he been there? Fair enough. Right. They've got a corner. Ah, oh, they've got a penalty. Great. Let's see what VAR says. Ah, yay. Oh, good save. What a way to make his debut. Sam Tickle with the penalty save. Corner to Barca, though. All right, headed out now. Yano's on the counter attack. Will this lead to anything? No, it doesn't. Right, they've got a corner headed out by us. Intercepted by Iano, Johnson, back to our Sam Tickle. Petrovic with a missed pass. I couldn't see anything that was going on there, but anyway. Bellanova scores for Barcelona. 4-1 win. 4-1 up so far in the two leg. Let's 
Ooh, we did score from a free kick there. I don't think we're going to get many highlights in this game. I think it's going to be mostly Barca. Yep, 2-0. 5-1 up on now. The only hope we can get now is just to get a consolation goal and make the home fans happy. Barca with a free kick. Right, we've got possession of the ball now. Maurice, Bar, ooh, nearly scored there. Maurice with the corner. Headed out. Still got possession with Ayana. Oh, no. Put Mella on there. Let's put uh, Lowry. And we'll put on uh, Jeff Henrik. All right, let's see how we get on. Uh, let's put Hugo Alba up front as well. With interception there by Yano. We've got possession now. Lowry. To Mella. Petrovic. Are we getting a consolation goal here? We do. Hoyland. Uh, I'm just going to cancel that substitution. Keep Hoyland on the pitch. Take off uh, Kolkers, Kolkers Jun on off instead, whatever his name is. All right. Yeah. Right, Naraki wins the ball, floats it in. Ooh, over. Showing a bit of fight in this game now, which is good. Yeah, now we might be able to get a 2 2 draw here. Right, Hoyland's knackered. We will put Alba on now. Two one loss, but at least we got a goal again and kept the fans happy. So, oh, right, we did get a crowd of eight thousand six hundred and fifty two, which is weird because I think I don't we have a bigger stadium now. Facilities, hmm, okay. You'd have thought that would have uh, had a bumper crowd for that one. Right, we've got Annie, Annie Yamu in. So, right, that's the uh, end of that episode then. This episode, sorry. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your bank holiday. Make the most of it and all the best. Bye.